the man who takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland. But here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city fear. Comstock, commander of the 7th Cavalry. That man did not lead the 7th. Hell, I don't even remember the guy. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, and we'll... That tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die at the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! Ammo, take it! You need this! Give us the shot, Jockey. If you want the vigor, Booker, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you with wounded knee and baky. Feel better already. keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials aren't always at hand.
Its yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the righteous path of our prophet's holy wrath. Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops to be Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye at 30 of my friends! Is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me. Come and look for me amongst the ghost dancers. Who are the ghost dancers? Wounded knee. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. With hatchet red, they danced amongst our noble dead. But when our soldiers took the field, the savage horde could only yield. You... you were there. That wounded knee. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta. I still hear the screams. Let's come, stop. Who wants to live? Here's the soldier I spoke of. I tell you who Comstock pretends to be. See if I told you true.
for this. I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. And what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? What did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. Dwight. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. If you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose. I've got what you need, Booker. You will find me. That's the First Lady's Memorial. you want about Lady Comstock. The woman had an eye for fashion. You've seen what Comstock has done to my history. Now see how he's rewritten his own. The seed of the Prophet lay in the womb of Our Lady but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. But the child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the Prophet's heir day and night. That's my tower. Lo! While Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. You're Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get one. You get this open? To those who loved me, I was the most generous of souls. There was no pain I would deny them, no betrayal I would not gladly give. And when I had scorched the hearts of all who loved me, the prophet said, There is nothing you can do for which I will not forgive you. For God has granted me sight, and through his eyes, even you are loved. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Let me know if you want me to bring that freight hook in. That one! Now! On it! I feel there's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Turret now! 
It's enough, Slate. We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! That shock jockey bigger. Found some. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Let me have a look. Done. The whole place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. Satisfy him, hold oh, no. He won't rest until he's turned us into ten. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all. Here. He's oh, from thanks. Me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits. Here 
not the Booker DeWitt I remember. Tin Man! Tin Man! Thanks. Is that all you can muster, soldier? Come on now, DeWitt. Don't disappoint the boys. You know, those vigors seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks.
tell what Slate said bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, the less you know about me, the better. <laughs>
They're all gone. Come on out. Mr. DeWitt. The name's Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker. When there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. What is a life compared to a fake? I think I understand how you do what you do, these tears. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. But I always wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? There's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Return when you left us Come on! and there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is. Go ahead. Done. Rockets, be careful. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That'll do. Elizabeth. Looks easy enough. Ready. Want to hold on to this? Thanks. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really cavish writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you.
Time to look. Found ammo. Need this? Nice. like they call you the false shepherd and you the lamb let's not call each other that suits me how do you figure they'd know you'd be coming either they've got a prophet on their side har har or them that hired me also wrote the signs why got me what the doctor ordered. You all right? I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. It's up to you now. There's no one... Wait, what is that? 40 North by 74 West. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> Shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the fox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join I just the fox. Want my ship. And the fox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the fox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him. And you shall have your ship back. I gotta find Elizabeth before she lights up. The most common complaint I hear from the working men is that they are unhappy with their lot. By the man flying.
around no more. Samuel always thought that the pew on Sunday went hand in hand with the desk on Monday. Science is the slow revelation of God's blueprint. After two years in the Lamb's Tower on Monument Island, he took ill with cancer of the stomach. I prayed to the prophet, and the prophet delivered unto us a miracle through his servant, Fink. I do not know if I will ever get used to a husband bound in a skeleton of metal, but better a handyman than a dead one. to you! who fell. I feel only envy for those who perished under his banner.
to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a means to an end. No more. History tells us the painter Surratt would take no money for his art. Why, George Washington would only accept the... Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She was good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. You do your 
job. Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Fink Industries is not recruiting at this time. Please come again. Need some help with this. Here we go. Over there, a service elevator. It should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. We own these troops to be so Appreciate it. You got it in This. Really? That little old lock. All yours. The gunsmith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. What is it? No. I found some money. Want it? Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems 
Oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? It doesn't strike me as good news. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? Now, uh, I mean, if somebody comes along and tells you that you're getting the short end of the stick, you don't take it for a fool, but friend, you're no better than a slave. Well, here's what you tell those soldiers. You say, I ain't no slave. I ain't no fool. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Work this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Now I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin? Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? 
why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. Kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Now let's figure out where this good time club is. song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. Calling your thought. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. You hold on to this. Just arms there it is, Mr. Twain. Just with their place here just at head inside and find Mr. Lin. But I tell you this just on call me for all. Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. The man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost the <laughs> limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Yellow, catch! I can say I like the cut of your jib. young go-getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. She Think has one of the hiring anything for a song. Appreciate it. Acts. 
is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But... Not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. Some help with this. I can do that. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. It's done. message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes? The cipher should be around somewhere.
take a look at this lock? Really? Uh, this is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. What could people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place? Can you unlock this? Yes. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. All done. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Shen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through. To this other Columbia. But how? It's like riding a bicycle. I never really forget. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into the stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. What is 
security, I suspected your father How these two slip off your head and what they were doing this in the face of He was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt.